Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This meeting of the East Bend Board of School Directors is called to order. Can you please rise and join with the Pledge of Allegiance? <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We excuse... Are these on? Are these on? Okay. We excuse Mr. Ballard. He's out of town this evening on a well-deserved vacation. Uh, we have our first item of business tonight is some award presentations. Dr. Seidberg? Thank you, Mr. Earnshaw. I'm going to ask um, Mr. Glancy to explain the first award, then we're going to ask perhaps you could join us along with Mr. Ward and Mr. Ritter over here, and I'll let Mr. Glancy talk about the first award. Thank you very much. Uh, as the board knows, we took part in the uh, EPNL benchmarking, energy benchmarking program. And uh, three of our schools won Energy Star Awards, which are now hanging in their lobbies. Uh, we've also taken part in the PPL rebate program, so that when we buy energy efficient uh, appliances or other pieces of equipment for our school, uh, we actually can apply for rebates and we have received rebates from uh, PPL for those energy efficient uh, purchases. As part of that process, because we have been doing this, uh, they have uh, named us uh, as uh, an energy smart business honorable school. So this organization has demonstrated the kind of awareness and commitment that will lead our com communities to better energy and environmental practices today and into the future in recognition of the measures it has made to become more energy efficient its name has been entered on the ePower Energy Smart Business Honor Roll. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you very much for your part in the process. Okay, I'm going to ask all, all the gentlemen to say, uh, here, come on, Mark. And uh, certainly I want, to, I want to include Mr. Glancy in this award. Uh, last year was the first year the Delaware, um, Delaware Valley Green Building Council uh, presented awards for, in the area of energy conservation and green schools. Last year we were nominated, unfortunately, the uh, school district that wears black and red to the north. Uh, won. This year we won. So I'm very pleased to present this to Mr. Earnshaw and Mr. Warden, Mr. Glancy and Mr. Ritter for doing a great job in ultimately uh, doing what's right for the environment, also saving money at the same time. Um, Mr. Ritter and I had an opportunity to go to the awards. Presentation was kind of a nice evening. And so this is the board storyboard that we had and we'll hang this in a prominent place throughout the district and of course we have a certificate, and I'm going to give this to Mr. Glancy, um, since it's his department, basically, and uh, thank you. And by the way, I want to make an announcement. The uh, state of Pennsylvania has a new program called the Green Ribbon Schools. Uh, Mr. Glancy and his staff will be completing the application, and who knows uh, if it will be an award, but we're going to make an effort to apply, let's signifying that we are committed to, to the concept of green schools and being good stewards of the environment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Any questions or comments for Dr. Uh, Berger? All right. Thank you. I have no request to address the board this evening, so I'll move on to item number four, approval of minutes. May I have a motion, please? Yeah. Move. Second. Any 
comments or discussion on the motion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Next item 5.1, the report of the superintendent of schools, Dr. Steinberg. Thank you, Mr. Earnshaw. One of the nice things about being a superintendent, especially in East Penn, is that you get a lot of accolades for our students. And I can't tell you how many people I bumped into in my travels throughout the Lehigh Valley over the, uh, the holidays who just were flowing with confidence for our student performers at all levels. Um, our middle school, Lower Montgomery Middle School, as long as our high school choir had appeared at Chris Kendall Mart. People saw our kids singing at the airport. We had the East Penn Press recently you saw that. Um, and it's so nice to know that our kids go out and perform in the community um, and are just on display. It's a different kind of education. It's a performance kind of education, but to see the joy uh, of our kids as they perform, and of course it goes without saying, the wonderful instructors they have, Mr. Demi for our musical groups and Mrs. Cortez par excellence for the work that she does. And so uh, thank you to all our performers uh, who go out and give joy in this community, give back to this community. So I congratulate everyone associated with our choral and instrumental groups that go out in the community. Um, I'm pleased to tell you, um, I think in September we talked about something we're very excited about here in our district as instructional rounds. I think we're in first Lehigh Valley School, maybe the first school outside of the Northeast, outside of Connecticut, Massachusetts. We're looking at instructional rounds, and Friday is our first visit. We will be visiting Lincoln Elementary School. There will be 24 uh, professional staff members, administrators, and teachers. We actually had a, almost like an NCA selection Sunday here last Thursday. We thank Dr. Tormer for all their efforts. Um, we had over 100 over 115 teachers expressed interest in, in joining our observation teams. And um, we had selection, and um, those people who were not selected will be eligible um, for the two other schools we visit later on in school year. High school we won, we have identified the third school. So we're really excited. Uh, it's going to be a, an outstanding professional experience. We'll have a group of 24 people who will visit classrooms at Lincoln on Friday. And then there will be a debrief, and, and we'll continue with an administrative workshop on Saturday morning um, regarding um, lots more about the instructional rounds process. So uh, we're excited. Friday's our first day. Um, I know we talked about federal budgets and about some uh, constraints that we were envisioning. Um, some of the uh, rhetoric we heard from Washington, in fact, the Western legislation that we would lose up to 1.5% of our federal, at least in Title I area. Well, the good news is PL 11274 <coughs> has been passed at. Sometimes you read about things that go on in Congress. Well, anyway, um, this bill, 11274, has restored all of our Title I funding. The only problem is with the delay, uh, we did not have a good idea as when we're going to get our funds. So, um, the good news is we're going back up to the allotment that we were told we were going to get, so um, that's good news. February 1st, uh, maybe I'm still on the side, oh, you're over here now, that's not as you. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you talk about Skills USA, but that's a wonderful day. If people have that thing in the calendar, you might want to mark February 1st. Um, also, recently, Jen Corona, a Lower Macanji Middle School sixth grade teacher, she was selected as WLEV station 100.7 that's the teacher of the week so congratulations to Ms. Corona. Um, several months we, we talked about enrollment issues and I guess one could say this is somewhat good news um, from December to January um, we had a reduction of about 37 students district-wide at elementary level we're now at 3,531 which is a loss of 12 students Middle school is actually up one. We're now at 1922. The high school is 2541, which is a loss of 26 students. So as of January 3rd, we have a total of 7,994 students in the East uh, Penn School District. Then I also told you about our, our willingness to go forward with the Green Ribbon School application, and we'll do so, and we'll keep you apprised of our progress. Mr. Urshaw, that's my report tonight. Thank you, Dr. Seidenberger. Any questions for our superintendent? 
I have one. The, uh, the uh, instructional rounds, Yes. Um, you mentioned 24 people. Right. What is the breakdown? Are there administrations? Yes, there's 12 administrators and, and 12 teachers. And the teachers were evenly selected between secondary and elementary. People were nominated, either self-nomination or nominated by the peers and we had a drawing. Um, we want to remind everybody that this is, this is the focal point, of, focal point of our administrative in-service this year. So um, it's uh, the emphasis for administrative training. That's why we're taking 12 administrators. I think the numbers will look better. There'll be more teachers than administrators when we visit high school, I, I, I would think. But I don't know for sure. We haven't worked out the numbers yet. Any other questions? All right. We'll be in groups of four, correct? Yes. So I'll be, I'm doing, I'll be paired with the teacher. I'm excited. Lucky person gets. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun to be with the bosses. Bosses. Somebody, will, somebody will be nervous. Like <laughs> somebody will be nervous. Like yes. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Seinberg. Next, we have motion 5.2 personnel. We're going to hold back the co-curricular advisors exhibit three for a separate. May I have a motion on the remainder of item 5.2? So moved. Second. Discussions or comments on the motion? Seeing none, Ms. Burtz, will you please call the roll? Mr. Rhodes. Aye. Ms. Doncho. Aye. Ms. Fuller. Aye. Mr. Policano. Aye. Mr. Bocker. Aye. Ms. Collins. Aye. Mr. Earnshaw. Aye. Seven nine. Motion carries. Next, we'll entertain a motion on item 5.2, Exhibit 3, the co-curricular appointments. We have a motion on that, please. So moved. Second. Comments or discussion on the motion? Yes, uh, I would like to uh, say that I will be abstaining in this because my sister-in-law, Faith Andrews, is receiving a stipend for her assistance at the Iyer Middle School Musical. Thank you, Ms. Fuller. Any other comments or questions? Ms. Burks, will you please call the roll? Mr. Rhodes. Aye. Mr. Walker. Aye. Ms. Doncha. Aye. Ms. Fuller. Abstain. Mr. Policano. Aye. Ms. Holly. Aye. Mr. Earnshaw. Aye. Six eyes, one abstention. Motion carries. Next, we have our other educational entities. Ms. Fuller, will you give us a report on the Carbon Lehigh Intermediate Course? Thank you very much. Um, I attended my first meeting with the Carbon Lehigh Intermediate Unit, uh, and it was delightful to be in touch not only with directors from Lehigh County, but also with Carbon County as well. And uh, it, is, it is always interesting to hear the conversation around the table. Um, the business that was conducted uh, was that we did indeed um, pass a budget, a general operating budget, to send on to the districts. And um, the revised budget will be submitted to the 14 school districts within the Carbon and Lehigh counties for approval. As Mr. Richwein would often say, that there are, are a number of budgets involved in CLIU. This is the general operating budget, but then there are budgets for various programs that are, are funded by um, the districts to use those services. A particular interest to me was just a conversation around the table concerning charter schools. Um, Catasauqua reported that they had had a hearing uh, from the uh, Medical Charter Academy, in which I've been seeing some advertising. I've been seeing billboards on the turnpike. I've been seeing bus shelter advertisements. I've been seeing advertisements on television. And there was a discussion about how this particular curriculum differed from what is offered at the Lehigh Career and Technical Institute. And I've even gone on, on the website of the uh, proposed charter school. And from my reading of their curriculum and my knowledge of LCTI, um, it seemed to be duplicative. So it'll be interesting to see how this indeed does play out. Um, it is interesting to see how the public funds are being used to advertise charter education. Um, well, as I said at that table, it, it frosts me. Um, we have to rely upon our own good offices to get the word out about what we do here. Um, 
so perhaps I strayed a little bit, but that was the conversation at the table. Any questions? Any questions for Ms. Fuller? Thank you for your report, Ms. Fuller. Next, Lehigh Career and Technical Institute, Ms. Hyde. Okay. Um, we had our holiday party, actually, and it's a great time for the LCTI students to showcase everything they can do in their culinary arts as well. Um, the, what was the theme? I always miss the 50s. The 50s. 50s theme. I miss the root beer floats. Um, but everything was fantastic, and during that time, we hand out awards, and um, Mr. Richwine actually received an award for being a member of, uh, sitting on the, the Joint Operation Board for more than a decade, and um, his, his little present was a rocking chair. He thought it was very nice um, to retire in that rocking chair. And we also did, uh, looked at our preliminary budget, and they're staying within the 1.7% index. And once again, it's at this point, just because everything changes based on the student enrollment. Uh, but they're trying their hardest to stay within that, and you know, I totally commend that, them for that. And we actually are uh, did some voting, and we have a new president, and it's our own Alan Earnshaw. That's the president of the LCTI board. So congratulations. And the last thing that um, Dr. Seidenberger brought up was that the Skills USA uh, district competition will be held February 1st at Ag Hall in Allentown. Uh, this is a great competition for our students to showcase all their skills that they've learned. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to be reporting back a lot of awards that they've received uh, from East Penn because we always have a few. So that'll be exciting to see what they um, were awarded. Do you have anything to add? Either uh, other representatives have something to add? Yes, I'd just like to say how happy, happy I am to be back on the board at LCTI. It's a wonderful educational entity. Uh, it's like coming back home, and I'm more than happy to serve with uh, Ms. Hyde, Ms. Fuller, and our new chairman, Mr. Earnshaw. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rhodes. Uh, I will note that the gift that Mr. Richwine received was a going away gift as he left the board. It's not an, an annual thing. You have to serve for a certain amount of time in that, I mean in that uh, position, before you're sent off with a gift. So congratulate him on his service. Is there any opposition to moving business operations items seven, all four sub items together? Then I'll take all four of those as a single motion. I would like to abstain on number three, so if we could separate them. I'm sorry, which one do you want to separate out? Uh, number three. Number three, okay, we'll separate that one out. Any other ones to separate out? Okay, I'll take a motion on 7.1, 2, and 4, please. So moved. Second. Any comments or discussion on the motion? Seeing none, Ms. Burks, will you please call the roll? Mr. Bocker? Aye. Mr. Politano? Aye. Ms. Fuller? Aye. Mrs. Donchev? Aye. Mr. Rhodes? Aye. Ms. Hyde? Aye. Mr. Earnshaw? Aye. Seven aye. Motion carries. May I have a motion on item 7.3, please? So Second. Comments or discussion <clears throat> on the motion? Well, I, I, would just, I would just like to thank um, the Rodiel Family Foundation for helping to make this uh, uh, our track improvement possible. Um, is this the second? One more year. This is the third this year? The third year. The third year, third year of this year. gift. How quickly time does fly. It was a, a, a very wonderful, generous gift. And uh, more than our students are benefiting from this because the public also has use of the track for Walton facilities. So thank you very much. I have a question just for the mechanics. This, this was a, um, we already made the improvements on the track. Yes. And this is replenishing funds that were spent. Yes. We had advanced, uh, I think the whole project, I forget exactly, like 800 and some thousand dollars. I don't know the exact. But we advanced uh, a portion of that out of our capital reserve account. Now, our promise was to the board we would restore that as we got the uh, 100,000 each year. And their check goes in the general fund. Well, it has to go in the general fund first, and then we transfer it into the capital reserve. Any other questions or comments on the motion? I'd also like to echo my appreciation for the Rodale Family Foundation. It's been a very
very generous grant, and it's been wonderful to have that track improvement in place. Ms. Burns, will you please call the roll? Ms. Hawes, aye. Mr. Rose, aye. Mrs. Doncha, Mrs. Janey, I say I'm pulling that pronoun. Ms. Fuller, aye. Mr. Palatano, aye. Mr. Barker, aye. Mr. Earnshaw, aye. Six ayes, one abstention. Motion carries. Is there any new business to come before the board this evening? Oh, uh, Ms. Fuller? May I need to mention that I will be missing the, um, the January meeting of LCTI. So if there is someone who might be able to fill my seat, I would appreciate it very much. That is on the fourth Wednesday of 25th, the month. 25th, I think it is. Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. We have historically appointed as alternates all the members of the board who are not representatives of the JOC. So Mr. Policano, Mr. Barker, and Ms. Anches, if you want to check your calendars, see if you're available, we would love to have you up there. Right, it's a great opportunity to see some of the great work that goes on at that school. Any other new business? Prior to this meeting, we held an executive session. We covered confidential matters, real estate, and negotiation. We have uh, some guidance information nights and financial aid nights coming up, uh, as well as the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, one week from today. Our next board meeting will be two weeks from this evening. Same uh, bat time, same bat channel. Those who are old enough to get the reference. There being no further business to come before the board, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. For a second, I thought nobody wanted to leave. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Meeting adjourned.